Happy Thanksgiving, peeps. Let's talk cheese instead. So today we're covering the So Amit Snom cheese advent calendar, which technically isn't available in the city of Seattle or the state of Washington or the Pacific Northwest for that matter. In fact, if you are a savvy individual, you're gonna realize this is last year's box that I picked up yesterday. I was in New Seasons completely by accident, unplanned, and saw this guy on the shelf and grabbed it. And interestingly enough, it has five of the seven cheeses that are technically in this year's calendar, and it cost way more at $27.99, but I wanted to try this guy. Believe it or not, it's actually still good. I mean, it's a bunch of cheddar. I'm not too surprised that it's still good. I have so many questions as to why this calendar was actually available in the new seasons, why it was so expensive, because the version for this year is $20 at Target. But you know, I've been wanting to try this for a year, and as long as it doesn't give me food poisoning, it's very close to the same calendar, so let's give it a shot. Before I dive into the cheese, I must ask you awesome peeps, hit those like and subscribe buttons so I can keep bringing you the potentially concerning cheese action. I should say that the inside and outside of this year's box are quite different, far more Christmas Carol and this one's more decorate the tree. Still cute and nibble your way to the big day. They're going there. All right, let's try number one. Yarlsberg. And there is actually a joke on here. What group of cheese has been known to fly? Curd of prey. That, that's pretty horrible. Let, let's try the cheese instead. I do feel like I'm staring at a cheese K cup. It is very cute. It smells very strongly, like, it smells very strongly of a Swiss cheese in that sort of, there's a tang to it. I can smell it from here, my goodness. And this just, this smells like fondue. That's what it smells like, straight up fondue. Let's try my questionable cheese. No, no, no. Well, that was something. Um, yeah. So it's been about 20 minutes since I shot that last footage and I'm just getting over being queasy. I've been doing some research into what I think happened. I did notice some moisture on the cheese and it might've been that it's not meant to age in that kind of a package. There could be issues with the shipping. I don't know how it got to New Seasons in the first place and why it was on their shelf a year after it's supposed to be released. I'm not saying here that I think that So Amit Snom has a bad calendar. What I'm actually saying is please eat your calendar when you get it. I have already contacted New Seasons. We are working on figuring out what might have happened. Pink Jess has already offered to eat the cheese and see if it's just me. I'm just gonna sit here and not eat for a bit. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments below now. Have you tried this year's cheese calendar? Was it actually good? I mean, I would love to hear uplifting cheese stories right now. Or do you have a favorite cheddar that you think should have been in the advent calendar? Or Swiss, I mean, Jarlsberg is kind of in that Swissy cheese family-ish. So favorite cheese, go. And with that, I hope you have a great every day, especially on Thanksgiving. Bye.